So we have a caller from Nobles County who asks, when is Southwest Minnesota Opportunities Council for Nobles County going to get more funds for fixing low-income housing? Is that something that we have some knowledge of here that we can discuss that one? I'm not uh, completely familiar with the, uh, with the uh, issues in Nobles County. Um, I do know that up in uh, my part of the state, particularly in the city of Moorhead, we certainly do have housing issues. We have uh, um, quite a shortage of housing, actually. Vacancy rate is uh, somewhere around 2% in the city of Moorhead, and um, it really is attributable to not just uh, affordable housing, but just housing in general. And I uh, had, si had signed on to a bill, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier this year that uh, was carried by Representative Fabian um, to look at uh, uh, financing mechanisms for workforce housing. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is an issue of not just housing and uh, getting folks, uh, you know, on their feet and everything, but also an issue of our economic development. You know, if we have jobs and manufacturing in, in our communities, but we aren't able to uh, provide workers with housing and everything, you know, that's, that can be a drag and can be a detriment to our economy. So um, it is something we do have to take a look at. And I know there was a house provision for, uh, um, I believe it was $100 million in uh, bonding money to uh, yep. provide more, more housing for folks across the state. Well, Ben, I'm glad you mentioned workforce housing because it is a real issue in many parts of the state. Uh, you mentioned Senator, or, uh, Representative Fabian's uh, district is one where there's plenty of jobs and not enough housing. Uh, and I think uh, for some of our small towns in greater Minnesota, there's an opportunity here to actually uplift and build up their housing uh, to supply places for people to live, even if they're working in some of our regional centers like Mankato, Rochester, or St. Cloud. I think industries in, in rural Minnesota is an issue that we all, we certainly all at the table care about. Uh, uh, these smaller towns, smaller communities, like where uh, uh, Representative Fabian comes from. We have huge industries there, and we just don't have the workforce. Fergus Falls and Perm are no different. Uh, uh, we, we were really, really struggling for, for finding folks to, to fill jobs. And uh, uh, so I, I, I'm glad to see that uh, the state of Minnesota is looking at, at uh, those uh, opportunities out there lack of opportunities of housing in rural Minnesota especially and uh, uh, because those businesses are there they, they don't want to stop they don't want to you know they want to continue and uh, that rural that rural life is uh, sought after by a lot of by a lot of folks uh, in what we call greater Minnesota and and you know market value housing in rural Minnesota is a tough thing to come by I mean, the rents are don't justify the okay. amount of money it takes to, to build housing but, you know, in Minnesota, uh, Ben sp spoke about the $100 million that uh, is being proposed, and indeed, I'm sure there'll be at least some of that, a uh, healthy percentage of that, that'll come out of the bonding bill this year. But Minnesota uh, has always had a, 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 a financing mechanism, a mechanism, the Minnesota Housing Authority, which works with the banks to, uh, to uh, do housing, and, and, and they've done an excellent job if you look at, at uh, what they've done and, and how they've done it. Uh, lastly, we all know that uh, the housing takes uh, uh, water and sewer, you know, it, it takes infrastructure. And uh, the Minnesota PFA, which is another mm -hmm. uh, uh, organization which the state of Minnesota finances, um, is another organization that works on just that particular thing. As, as, uh, as Paul said, if you... If you uh, if you have a small town and their infrastructure shot, the first thing you've got to do is get some water and sewer or, or, a, or some type of a treatment plant before you can hope to get any good housing. So I think we're making good strides, but it's, it's a problem. And as he, you know, there's problems that, that a, a better economy brings along, and, and part of it is if you've got, if you've got the expanding industry, uh, it's exactly right. If you're up in Polaris town, uh, up there in Roseau or you're in uh, Deep River Falls, you know, there's just not, there's just not any place to live.